place to catch up with friends, relax in a friendly atmosphere and enjoy great service and food. Then Buckley's can offer a fun evening that the whole family can enjoy. In our bistro you can enjoy a selection from our extensive menu including family favourites. On those sunny days our alfresco is the perfect setting to enjoy a meal. Catch up with friends or watch your favourite sport on two large plasma TVs. Having a special occasion can be made easy by hiring our newly renovated function rooms. Buckley's, a venue of class that provides all your entertainment and function needs. All the bliss, now it's back again as uh, Bannockburn retain control and Hickleton goes to the middle of the ground. It's a long kick over the head of Farr. He uh, certainly looks a bit short of a gallop, Nick Farr, but he puts a terrific tackle on there. Gets the ball uh, loose, snorts along, dropping the ball there to Armistead. Play on, said the umpire. Picked up by Swenis and Brett. Now it's picked up by Perkins and uh, he runs goalwards. All too Great easy goal. in the forward half. Dean Perkins kicks the first goal of the game for Bannockburn. Trouble here as the uh, ball in front of our broadcast position on centre wing. North Geelong trying desperately hard to get it forward. Oh, high tackle there on Hable, and Hable has taken the mark. Umpire not going to play pay advantage, and it will come back to centre wing. Hable, the head high tackle on that occasion. Not too sure where to go. Goes backwards to uh, between centre and half back to Bryant. Bryant now. Not too sure where to go. Not a lot of movement up forward, so North Geelong... Pretty stagnant. That's a terrible kick. He's put his uh, teammate Hable under real pressure. He goes backwards. Now on, the ball kicked. On Turk. <laughs> That's on Turk. That's right. It's uh, taken there in the middle by Pittman. He's uh, looked all right so far, young Pittman. He's, there's not much of him. Good kick. It's a lovely kick on that occasion. And North Geelong through Fitzsimmons at half forward. Goes inside forward 50. Elsie oh. there. Good body work. Far too Tony the body. For Tony Robbie. The body. Robbie Giles now. He's trying to milk everything for a 50 He would have kicked a few goals from this spot so far this season. I reckon he'll dob this one too. So just inside 50. He's uh, started at left-hand post. Has come back beautifully on the breeze. And Todd Elsie. The boys are struggling to mend him up. And here's one of them out the side of the pack. Goes towards Hutchinson, but the handball is chopped off. There's another one, though. And they might be able to break free. That's Schwenison. Gets it away towards Hutchinson. Off a step. Back towards Bryant. Are going to be under oh. pressure. And taking the mark Hickleton. is Hickleton. So Hickleton now goes wide looking for Perkins. Oh. Not going to sit for him, though. Armistead can run free for North Geelong. Now 50 takes a bounce. Backs himself. Goes long with a right foot kick. Looks pretty oh, good off well the boot. Done. That's a great kick, and that's a great goal. Grant Armistead's put the second on the board for the Magpies. That tap down before in that rock contest, but he's not leaving that goal square. So the kick in from, uh, looked like Fletcher kicking in from fullback. Good kick out. That's ball at centre half back for North Geelong. Handball comes across to the player running and uh, he kicks towards half forward. Over the top of Habel. Comes back well and uh, gets it. He off, uh, put his Bannockburn opponent off there, but uh, the ball's turned over now. Hobbs picks it up. Handball out wide to Perkins. Perkins, he's tackled well. Gets a handball back. Hobbs, another handball over the top. But North defence, they're running hard. There's Fletcher. Great tackle. Causes the turnover. And North Geelong now. Oh, the ball back into the uh, corridor. That's trouble. Mark dropped, unfortunately, for uh, Bannockburn by Lewis. But that's in a half. Uh, in the middle of the ground, actually. It's Matthew Foot now. He goes out wide, Riccardi, nearer the middle of the ground. That's first touch for the day, Jake, and uh, it's a positive one. It goes into full forward for Teller, almost a mark from behind, follows up at ground level, paddles it along the ground. Wishart just on the ground, picks it up, hooks it around, and uh, has he got the big timber? I think he might have, James Wishart. And now on centre wing, McKnight has taken the mark for the North Geelong side. Allowed to run on far too easily by uh, the man on the mark on that occasion. Fisher almost a mark at uh, just backward of uh, centre wing. But uh, again, ball picked up by North. Good tackling. And, uh, well, Bannockburn there starting to get into a bit of a condition. Duncan, I think we'll call him anyway, according to the record, has picked it up. Handball over the top to Reek. Reek now for Bannockburn. Has found Wishart. Wishart on his own. That's much better. Running through the middle of the ground was Alistair Woods. Woods, long kick to full forward. And uh, backing back to take the mark all too easily was Aaron Eddy. And he's just turned around. Oh, yeah, plenty of uh, fight for spots in this side. Well, here's Riccardi on the turnover. Look at that kick. Fantastic. Back in board and finds Dylan Watt for the Tigers. He comes in now directly in front. Right foot kick. And the umpire says that is all clear. So Dylan Watt. Northern end of the ground. Doing the ruck work on that occasion was Eddie. Gets the ball forward. Only as far as the boundary once again. Now it's still in play. And uh, North Geelong through Armitstead, a little chip pass, doesn't go anywhere. Eddie, lovely handball out to Watt. 
Nice uh, passage of handball here. Finally comes through Riccardi. Back to uh, Alistair Woods. Woods now. Oh, oh. lovely vision because Dean Perkins had made position in the forward pocket on his own and uh, took the mark. Now the lead has come from far at full forward. It's too high for him and uh, he can't take the mark. It's in the goal square north. They're pretty... Uh, gee, Pretty average about their defence there, but they do get it out now to uh, defensive 50 into the arms of Hutchison. Hutchison, the long handball, looking for McKnight. Bliss is uh, right beside him, and uh, the ball turns over again. Great tackle by Bliss. For, it's uh, Perkins again, a chip pass. That's a better pass, but again, Farr can't, ta can't take the mark. He's got probably uh, great opposition there in Matheson, and the defence of uh, North Geelong again bring the ball out. The lead has come to... Uh, Halfback flank, Brentonburg can't take the mark. He follows up well, dropped the footy. No, said the umpire. Picked up for Bannockburn. All of a sudden, it's into the arms of Nick Farr. 25 metres out, turns on the right foot and goes bang and has kicked his first goal. In that direction. Now Challenger up against him. Woods, no mark taken. Off hands. Bryant, 55 out, tries to kick it around the corner. And he's done pretty well. No mark taken, though, for North Geelong. But they get it around the corner. Fitzsimmons, is it, who's kicked the goal? It's as easy as that when you turn around and put it through on your left. Ball goes in the air again. Dorber gets the tap down, but the secondary tap by Swenison gets the ball going further forward for North Geelong. They've uh, picked it up. Handball came out to Bryant. He's put the deck very quickly. Now the uh, loose ball picked up by uh, Perkins for uh, the Bannockburn side. Gee, finds Alistair Woods on his own. You wouldn't leave him on your own. As uh, Now, terrific body work there for... The Bannockburn side by Eddie comes back to... Fa There's a whistle on play. What's happened here? Free kick to Bannockburn. It's a free kick Bannockburn. Yep. So uh, it looks a bit like uh, Dean Perkins again, is it? Yep. He's only 10 metres out. So no, uh, Lee, Lee even. even. Uh, yeah, beg your Lee. pardon, Lee Perkins, yep. who kicked the last goal. And uh, put down very heavily after the handball was uh, given away. Now uh, a few words have been said, I'd suggest. And uh, Perkins just uh, kicks the ball over the goal umpire's fit head for his second in a couple of footy. Now kicks it toward the lead at half forward again. Lee Perkins coming forward, takes a strong mark. Sees Lewis making position, running back into the trouble. Oh, took the mark, almost 50 perhaps. Plays on quickly. Peter Riccardi, he uh, ran forward. Lewis uh, saw him running and uh, clipped the ball just in front of uh, Peter Riccardi. Moves in for Bannockburn. It's... Uh, Beautiful kick off the boot. You don't get too many better. Laurie de Gold, he'd be absolutely uh, wrapped in it, wouldn't he? You see Dean Perkins coming back on, giving Woods a break. Nailing on the wing. That's a luxury. Gives it away to Lewis. Back in board. He handballs over the top to Dylan Watt. Shares it with uh, Bliss, who shares it back with Watt. Now right foot kick long towards the leader for Taylor. Also getting up there, Eddie. Great mark, Matheson. Takes the mark for the Magpies. Left foot kick around the corners. Okay, finds Armistead by himself at defensive 50 for the Magpies. He chips it over the top towards the lead. No mark taken, though, and the turnover could be crucial. Watt does well, breaks away, uses his pace. Right foot kick long towards Fatala. He's got a couple against him. He holds his ground. Tapped a oh, great little tap, too, towards uh, Hickledon around the corner towards Perkins, who's just back on the ground, Dean, and he kicks the goal. So Dean has two. Lee has two. A short throw in again. Lewis fights hard for it. Leg, said the umpire. Ban uh, North Geelong to take the free kick. Anderson will take it at half back for the Magpies. <laughs> goes towards the middle. Schwenison goes up. Punched away from behind. Bannockburn work hard. Bliss is there. Handball by Woods to Eddie. Off a step. Right foot kick long. Good kick too. Looking for Nalen. Playing deep now. Comes oh. Riccardi. Front and centre was sensational. Kick around the corner. Open oh. goal square. <laughs> oh. And has kicked that goal. <laughs> if you don't mind. The place to catch up with friends, relax in a friendly atmosphere and enjoy great service and food. Then Buckley's can offer a fun evening that the whole family can enjoy. In our bistro you can enjoy a selection from our extensive menu including family favourites. On those sunny days our alfresco is the perfect setting to enjoy a meal. Catch up with friends or watch your favourite sport on two large plasma TVs. Having a special occasion can be made easy by hiring our newly renovated function rooms. Buckley's, a venue of class that provides all your entertainment and function needs.